You know, I think I think one thing that people often don't understand when they get into business that is crucial to success is making sure you have systems in place and the importance of systems. I'll give you an example. McDonald's is a prime example of a business or, or, or a corporation that has systems down pat. It's the reason why a franchise at McDonald's costs a million dollars. It's not because they have you know, the wonderful tasting burgers, right? They have decent quality food and they have it at a great price and they provide it relatively quickly. So what they do is they meet the expectation of the customer very well. And they're able to do that because they have systems in place. If you ever go into a McDonald's, you'll see they do the same thing the same way in every McDonald's you go into. That system, that's a systematic approach to help you deliver consistently the same way the expectation that the customer has when they come, which in McDonald's, it's price, it's taste, you know, it's quality of food and it's how fast can I get it, right? And you can, if you can do that the same way, the same time and multiply that, then you're gonna be successful if it's value to your end customer. And for the most part, systems allow you to do that. So McDonald's isn't McDonald's and they don't sell a million dollars, a million burgers because they got great tasting burgers. They do it because they have a great system that provides upon the expectation of the end customer continuously over and over and over consistently. Uh, does that make sense? I've, I've often heard a guy say, uh, I, heard, I heard a guy say before, he said, you know what, if something breaks, if I have a problem in my business, I don't go to the individual or I don't look at it that way. What I do is I go to the system. I say, what, I ask myself, what system is broken in my business that caused this problem to happen and how can we fix that? How can we create a system to keep that from happening, happening again? Right, and that systematic approach is gonna is gonna help you every time. Uh, franchises again. I'm not pushing franchises. Uh, I'm not saying franchises are what you need to do, but I will say franchises tend to be more successful for that reason than non-franchises. It's because franchises have figured out that the systematic approach, right? Just like McDonald's, just like any you know Subway, just like all of those guys, they have a systematic approach that everybody does when they buy into it. And actually what you'll find is that it's easier to get a loan from the bank if you have a franchise because they understand that you have a system and a plan already that has bred success in other individuals. So it's easier to say, hey, Here's an example, here's an example, here's an example of people using the same system I'm gonna use. So, you know, giving me the loan is gonna, you're gonna be more secure in giving me the loan. And that's because strate the strategic system that is set in the place wills more success. So, from a, from a systematic approach, it's important that even in this industry, you approach it that way. When you're, when you're doing intake, when you're ordering parts, when you're managing your parts, when you're doing your repairs, when you're calling your customers, uh, when they have to come pick things up, when you have to contact them, all of that stuff should have a systematic approach. And that's the difference between what we teach at Cellular Repair School a lot of times and what you know, other people teach us. We teach you how to be successful in that approach. That's even with repairs. You know, disassembly and reassembly. Everybody should be doing the same thing the same way. You know, and the problem we see a lot of times is that everybody's doing different things. Different. How, how difficult is it to manage somebody or, or multiple people who are doing the same thing different ways? And that's kind of what we teach here at Cellular Repair School and we provide, especially to business people who have, who are on a scale and have multiple locations. What you need to understand is that you need to be doing a process that is systematic and doing it the same way each and every time. That's gonna allow you to manage it better. That's gonna make it easier for you to train. And that's gonna not hold your customer or your, uh, your, 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 your customer who is your employee, host, they're not gonna be able to hold you hostage because you're gonna have a, uh, a systemized way of training and everybody's doing it the same way. So when you know, Tom leaves, you know, Tom isn't taking all of that skill with him because Tom's doing the same, everything the same way that everybody else is doing. That's the importance of organization structure and systems. And systematically, you should be approaching your business the same exact way. At the end of the day, that's gonna give you more of a chance of success than failure for sure.